Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, wait a minute, I just realized it is not December yet. Oh, crap. <laughs> I don't know why I just managed to able to put up with that specific uh, joke like that. But either way, though, um, apologize with that particular bad pun. But either way, though, we'll just have to cope with that, I suppose. Hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? I am Duffy Duck here once again, and I'm back for some more of yet again for the likes of the Maxi Toys videos. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more as play of Yoshi's Woolly World for the Nintendo Wii U, or in this case, Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World for the Nintendo 3DS. So, last time we did manage to able to completely done with uh, those four levels in the rest of World 5, and we're about to be continuing things on for today's video, is the fact that we might actually wrap things up with World 5, by going through the final level in World 5, which appears to be World 5S, which is usually calls it, I believe, it's called Yoshi's Curtain Call. So either way, out of all the special stages in this game so far, this one is easily one of my favorites, because not only because of the scenery, as you can see right there, but it's also the fact that we got ourselves the returning gimmick from the likes of World 4-5, we actually have a returning curtain thing, which either way, that, uh, once again, you must able to actually jump off the curtains every time you're able to reach this next set of those, uh, curtains, as you can see. Now, if you're going to tell already, it's the fact that I'm going to be using the power badge, which allows me to able to use the magnet, uh, the magnetic, uh, power badge, which, obviously, because of the fact that I need to able to get those items in during that one particular shot. So, either way, though, I highly recommend you do that, because other than the fact that you can able to use that for... Not only just get yourselves magnetic, uh, stuff. Oh, I forgot about that particular part! Oh, dang it. Oh well, we'll try that again, and hopefully... It's not that difficult or anything like that, but the only difficult part about this is the fact that, you know, with the actual heart system... Well, I believe the hearts themselves are gonna be at the very end of the stage. Now, you're probably thinking about the fact to yourself, well, this might be pretty easy to deal with when you, if you really want to get yourselves these tons of hearts to your health. But, turns out, though, is the fact that uh, you need to do a exact timing requirement when it comes to that specific singular jump. Because if you do manage to able to jump, at the right moment, at the very end of the level, like you see why in just a moment. Now, for the most part though, getting these mighty flowers and even the Mevo's patches as a result, and especially noticeable with these little, uh, woolly parts, those aren't too bad. However though, when it comes to hearts, however though, uh, what I don't get about this is, is the fact that, that normally with the magnetic, uh, power bash that we did manage to equip, uh, it does allow you to able to draw in with, uh, these little, uh, beads and stuff, as well as these smiley flowers, and especially noticeable with these woolly, uh, pieces to able to fix up Yoshi and stuff. Uh, however though, it does not even track into the forms of the hearts themselves, and I was like, that's not fair. Now, if you're going to tell already, this is the PAL version, or the UK version of this game, because... Uh, if you're gonna tell already about the fact that it depends on what, uh, what country you're lifting, specifically in the Japanese version as well as the European country versions, is that... Actually, I might as well able to restart that somehow. But anywho though, uh, because this level's not that long as far as I'm aware, because, well... Um, obviously because of the fact that the only difficult part about this stage is, of course, getting these godforsaken hearts, so... But anywho though, we'll try that again and hopefully we can able to farm as many of those, uh, beads as possible before we're able to actually just to slightly use them for the later, uh, stages. Most notably with, uh, well, the majority of World 6 right now. Because either way, in addition to able to re- uh, hopefully we can able to finish up with World 5 as you can see right there. But also we might actually get started with the final world in the game, which appears to be World 6, so... You know, just like it likes how it does it in Yoshi's Island, as well as Yoshi's Story, in addition with, uh, you know, Yoshi's New Island. The only exception is, of course, uh, Yoshi's Island DS, because that game does have five worlds instead of six worlds, like the usual days. So, either way, I just want to point things out. So, anyways, though, um, there's still quite a few things I just want to mention about something, is the fact that, although we'll mention more now is whenever we're able to finish this level first, so either way though, we just want to able to actually get World 5 done and over with. And, uh, by the way, if you manage to play us on the, uh, the European version of the game, as well as the Japanese version of the game, well, we'll explain more now is whenever we, assuming we can able to 
uh, gather everything, and I get a strong feeling about the fact that I might not get all the hearts, because, well, I just simply just did a little bit of a bad timing requirement, if you couldn't tell. So, either way, though, we have to leave things up to that, I'm afraid, and I have to do this off-screen on, on the actual capturing device. So, unfortunately for you guys out there, that you might actually notice how to get these hearts, well, I'm afraid to say we'll have to leave things as it goes by, so... Anyway, so, so now we come across into this next bonus game right here, which, as you can see, we're actually now going to be starting riding onto those Laika 2 clouds. And then, if you manage to ride onto one of those Laika 2 clouds, then it should be able to actually gather, make scavering through a lot more easier, and especially noticeable simpler. But either way, though, except the fact that rather than just using those woolly balls this time, instead you have to, you know, just ride on these Laika 2 clouds, and that's all there is to know. So... <clears throat> And I seemingly to say, we actually got more beats than more than the, uh, the previous bonus stages this time, which I'm quite happy about, especially because of our fact that well, we need to get some more of those beats before we're able to actually just start, uh, to start to able to actually use some of them for, uh, specifically just trying to showcase some of them. While the majority of the time, though, is going to be most likely out to focusing on, you know, the CD hidden items and stuff, so... As you can see, we actually restored the Super Nintendo Yoshi, or in this case, Super Super NES Yoshi, as far as uh, shorter parts. Now, if you play this on the Japanese version of this game, uh, you guess there's a different name for it, which appears to be the Super Famicom Yoshi, which uh, those are the biggest differences between uh, the UK version as well as the Japanese version. Well, mind you, the UK version and the Japanese version has the exactly the same uh, you know, that particular SNES, Yoshi's Colors, which as you can see on this little, uh, uh, things on the back of his neck, which I can't really exactly know what these are called, uh, basically, it does match up to the exactly the same colors as you probably would see until in just a moment, but for now, we are now moving on to Layer of the Snooch, um, Spiders in World 6-1. So as you can see on screen, he has, like, blue green, yellow, and red onto this little, uh, curvy part in the back, which, uh, always especially noticeable with the actual, uh, you know, the, uh, where normally where Mario usually sits on. So, it's pretty cool, though, because even then, though, that actually somewhat feels like a reference to the forms of the Super Nintendo controller, at least specifically in the, uh, the UK version, as well as the Japanese Super Famicom controller, but, uh, I think this is also a reason why about the fact that back then, that the American version has to wait for that, uh, wait for this game until when it comes out in October, instead of the actual, uh, the June, uh, particular month. Uh, this is probably because of that happens when they have to change the actual, uh, design for the Super Nintendo Yoshi for the actual yarn itself. Because what it gets in the American version, well, it's just basically you get yourselves, like, a light blue color, as well as the, uh, a purple colors in that specific, uh, you know, for these, um, some of these segments of Yoshi, as far as I mentioned this before. So, either way, though, that's a pretty cool difference between, uh, you know, our country, as well as the forms of the Japanese version, in addition with the American version, which I appreciate it, because either way, though, I think it sort of does the same thing, too, in the likes of how it does it in, uh, well, let's just say in Warrior Work Gold or something like that. Even though I haven't really gone back into Warrior Work Gold just yet, though, because there are so many stuff to do on that game this time around compared to the forms of how it does in the previous entries. In, in addition with, well, you know, just trying to able to actually cope with, like, 300 micro games and stuff like that ever since Warrior Work Gold, or in this case, Warrior Work Twisted, I should say, for the Game Boy Vance, then, um, you know, you probably get the idea for that little, uh, Stipulations goes so. So anyway, so today's stage the forms of uh, the fourth of October in this case in 2019. So relatively speaking, as I said this before, countless amount of times. Next week I will be mainly focusing on Super Mario Galaxy 2, so that way I can able to actually wrap up that particular let's play up before we start to be able to move on to the next and probably the last 3D Mario let's play departments before we able to move on to. God knows they're going to be moving on to the next one, so... Or especially noticeable how the fact that Mario needs to get back into Super Mario Odyssey, which, um... Hopefully by that time, until next week or so, specifically on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, uh, what I'm going to do is the fact that I'm actually going to be focusing on Yoshi's Woolly World in Monday and Wednesday for next, uh, for next week, 
and Mario will he'll able to actually go back into Super Mario Odyssey in well let's just say next Tuesday as well as um well next Thursday and then on Friday and Saturday though well I'm gonna have to mainly wrap things up with Super Mario Galaxy 2 uh, Let's Play which again uh because of that though uh tomorrow for for those of you that are still uh, a biggest fan of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic which I still do uh. The next episode is going to be up tomorrow, so either way though, the actual episode is going to be called uh, The Big Mac Question, which either way, I can't, I can't wait to see how this will turn out, especially how the fact that we're actually getting, you know, very close towards the end of the actual series itself, so that's as far as I can go for that. Oh yeah, we actually come across into these enemies right there, you can't necessarily kill them sadly, but um, I usually recognize these enemies because if you look on the actual bark start of the game, specifically, uh, let's just say the Wii U version or something. Now, I don't know about the 3DS version because I haven't really played that much of the 3DS version, sadly, because, well, you know, at this point in time, I'm most likely have to focusing on, you know, Nintendo Switch and stuff like that, because, you know, the Switch is the, uh, the current generation of consoles as far as Nintendo's standpoint, as far as I'm aware. So, anywho, though, um... Another thing's one to point Excel right away is the fact that the Sega Mega Drive Mini, in this case the classic Mini of the Sega Mega Drive in the UK version, has now recently released today. So, yeah, I'm actually quite surprised about that. I don't know if I can able to pick it up in day one, but hopefully in the future though, well, I don't know if I might as well get it somehow, because at the moment right now, I'm pretty much almost pretty much in low when it comes to the forms of that specific spacing department, when it comes to uh, games consoles hooking up at the um, at the time's sake. But either way though, let's just go ahead and get some more of those uh, beads, as well as this, uh, the woolly piece, as you can see right here. So, um, yeah, I was quite pleasantly surprised by that. And hopefully, for the first time ever, for those who have not brought uh, the Mega Man The Wily Wars for the first time on the actual cartridge version, especially because the actual original cartridge version of that game is actually disgustingly expensive on, uh, during the UK version. I believe the Japanese version as well, I believe, but either way, I haven't really looked upon too much of Japanese stuff, so either way, I just want to point things out, so... Another thing I want to point things out is the fact that the new set of Joy-Cons has been just recently released today for, uh, I believe for America as well as the forms of the UK countries too. Like to be more specifically, the neon yellow and the normal blue color variations, which I was quite surprised by that, and also the purple, or in this case neon purple, and the neon orange colors. So. And I'm might as well able to actually just to say this again anyway. I'm think I might actually get ourselves the forms of uh, the neon purple and the neon orange because well, um, at this point we've already got ourselves the neon yellow already due to the forms of the uh, you know the actual uh, pair of the neon yellow Joy Cons already from back in Christmas 2018 last year, and uh, also because of our fact that the only option for uh, the neon, uh, to get a proper blue color for the Joy-Con controllers for the Switch is to get it with, uh, uh, you know, the neon yellow, uh, Joy-Cons or somewhat, so... And also another thing I want to point things out is the fact that new stuff has been happening on Luigi's Mansion 3. Specifically, they now actually added in, uh, the actual official website for this point right now. Especially because of how the fact that that game is gonna be... Pretty close to release, especially noticeable we've actually got ourselves about, I would say, 27 days to go, currently. Well, it might be a little bit lesser than that, because, well, you know, we still got a whole ways to go for the actual release dates department and stuff like that, but, you know, you get the suggestions for this point. And it's also because we're actually on October. This will be a perfect theme, by the way, for this level, as you can see. Yeah, because as you can see, with the actual main purposes of this level, as you can see, now we're actually going to be climbing onto the actual uh, spider webs, which uh, you can't necessarily uh, ground pound with it though, because you always have to be forced to able to climb onto them. So as a result of this kind of stuff though, it might be resulting in quite a sticky situation or something, so... But anywho though, that pretty much takes care of this level right here, so even though it's not too difficult or not that challenging either, it's just that 
Wow, you need to get used to it with the actual spiderweb uh, mechanics, as you can clearly see. And once again, I'm always off by that one godforsaken one, uh, you know, one Mephos patch of any sorts. But hopefully I'm also able to find out when if I just do a massive jump cut for this point, so... Hopefully there won't be any much of, uh... Hopefully it won't be that much in terms of the actual jump cuts for that point. Well, in one particular moment coming up at some point on the third level in the World 6. Because as far as I'm aware though, there's not much else I can really try and must confess for that point. So, anywho though, um, another thing is one of pointings out is the fact that, um, well, to be honest with you, I just really don't know what else to say around here because, well, Sonic has already mentioned about quite a few things for the saddest news about Alpha Dream Company because of how the fact that with, uh, you know with the Mario Luigi RPG series, in this case my favorite franchises of the RPGs of all time, and they just somehow managed to able to go bankrupted right now, so... Even though that's still pretty sad though, just because of how the fact that I just wish if they like to do something next for the Mario Luigi series, specifically for the Nintendo Switch part, but either way though, we'll have to wait and see what happens in the future. But anyways, I'll meet you guys back, and hopefully we can able to find ourselves the last me first patch on this, you know, for this level. Alright, so if I remember correctly, yeah, it was that shiny part I accidentally ignored, so we got that anyway. Alright, so we managed to go back into the world map, and yeah, if you can clearly see, I didn't get a star on here just because I have to replay that level for the third time off screen, so that way I can able to actually just go ahead and, uh, you know, just trying to deal with that level without taking any damage, uh, thing up next, so... That's gonna be something else. So anyways, let's move on now to level 6-2. We have Snack, um, Stitching, um, well, Snack Stitch Melton. As far as what I meant to say for that particular level, as far as I'm aware. And this particular level has an interesting gimmick, and that was the fact that, you know with these little, uh, well, we'll see whenever we get close to them. Yeah, as you can see, we actually come across into these guys. Now, if you manage to able to use the woolly balls onto these guys, well, basically, they'll create the platforms just for you. So either way, though, there, you can every definitely guarantee you can able to actually just to use that at all times. So just in case you can able to actually make your way from here and on. So either way though, definitely worth in mind, especially noticeable how the fact that, you know, it's always recommendable, you know, recommendable for able to actually just do that. So once again, folks, I do apologize with the actual lack of commentary and stuff like that for that wager, especially because of our fact that, well, at this point in time, we now finally managed to able to actually catch up on the forms of this particular Let's Play from now on. So, you know, it's kind of like the same thing for how it does it in, uh, you know, in Kirby's Epic Yarn, at, um, you know, that's for sure, because either way, although, unlike in Kirby's Epic Yarn Let's Play, which we already did done it back in, uh, a year ago at this point right now, they managed to able to actually do this non-stop, and then just managed to continue things on, without any taking any breaks and stuff, so... But, you know, you probably get the idea for that point, so, anyways, we got ourselves the Umbrella Yoshi returning, ever since in any forms of, uh, well, let's just say back in World 1. So, pretty cool though. And of course, much like before, we need to be able to get used to with the actual wind right here. So just in case you really can't afford to able to actually just miss any of those collectibles. Specifically, uh, the actual Me First patches and stuff. As well as from that, um, I guess there's not much else I can really think about this for this level. It's just that... Well, obviously, okay, there's no point for going down there, but we need to go up here to get the, uh, that particular wall, uh, piece of wall over here. And this part could be pretty tricky if you don't get the angle going, because if you somehow accidentally miss that by complete accident, well, unfortunately for you, though, you need to be able to try this again. So, I'm sure you can able to actually try this again if you mess that up, so... But anywho, though, um... But again, not much else to really talk about this, I'm afraid. A apart from the fact that there's going to be a brand new, uh, redo Let's Play is about to be coming up tomorrow, which, uh, should be exciting for you guys out there, especially noticeable thanks to the celebration of the forms of Mario Kart Tour, which usually came out, um, I would say for about a week, um, ago, or something like that, or perhaps maybe more. But either way, though, as far as speaking of that particular game, at the end of the day, 
Uh, some people seem to say that uh, overall, when it comes to their first experience of Mario Kart Tour, I think sadly to tell you is the fact that Mario Kart Tour was actually one of the weakest entries of the actual Mario Kart game, sadly. I think it's pretty obvious because of how the fact that, well, when I've played it on the first time around though, I was pretty excited because of how the fact that I can able to play Mario Kart on a go. Although, unfortunately though, is the fact that it still once again requires uh, Wi-Fi connections, just like the forms of how it does it on Super Mario Run, as well as Dr. Mario World. And speaking of Dr. Mario World, actually, uh, recently today is the fact that uh, they actually now bring us to ourselves Dr. Rosalina to the roster, as well as the brand new world, and eventually they got ourselves Dr. Luma as well, which I was like, Oh my god, this is a bit like how it does in Mario Tennis Aces all over again. I mean, what's next? We might get Dr. Pauline some point in the future? Or perhaps maybe Dr. Donkey Kong or Donkey Do uh, well, Dr. Um, Diddy Kong or something like that. I don't really freaking know. Just because of our fact that, well, it's a little bit more, uh, too early to able to predict for ourselves. Even though, despite the fact that that particular game of Dr. Mario World has been out for about almost three months for this point right now, ever since in, well, in July the 9th or something like that, for specifically for this year. In fact, speaking of which, is the fact that both Dr. Mario World and Mario Kart Tour, that both them actually came out throughout the exactly the same year, although both of those games, sadly, does have microtransactions here and there, which, uh, it's fine for Super Mario Run, because that game did came out in 2016. In fact, that particular game has been out for about th almost three years, ever since in December the 16th or something like that. In 2016 or something like that. So at least even then I could expect that. So, and despite the fact that that game did manage to did quite well when it comes to reviews and stuff like that, but nothing compares to the forms of Mario Kart Tour, because they managed to able to pull up with like 20 million downloads for that game. I think it's pretty obvious because of uh, most kids out there were super excited to play, you know, a brand new Mario Kart game but on a mobile phone. So either way, um, it's alright, but either way though, uh, for what if, uh, managed to play through all the cups in the game, which I did manage to did done recently, and let's get into my final thoughts of that game, when I was going to be able to actually, uh, explore in this stage in particular, as well as this next stage coming up in the future, um, I will say, I was a little bit disappointed. Well, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed the actual music, because as to be expected for many other Mario Kart games, does have its very good music, although, the only track I felt is a little bit more sickening for me though, and that was the fact that, well, I'll get into more on that whenever we get to this next video at some point in the future, specifically, whenever I get into either Yoshi's Woody World, which will happen in during any forms of, well, to be more specifically, on Monday to be specific, and also same applies on Wednesday too. And even eventually when Mario might actually, you know, get back into Super Mario Odyssey and stuff before we, uh, you know, trying to take care of the rest of the actual current Let's Plays in particular, so... But you probably get the idea for this little suggestion, so either way though, um... Yeah, because what I've uh, noticed is the fact that although the controls themselves are th not exactly that, um, quite frequent, because, well, instead of using the actual control pad or any of the four face buttons or any of the face buttons to be more specifically, because that game of Mario Kart Tour was entirely controlled with touchscreen controls, which, uh, it has that in the majority of the time for the likes of certain iPhone games, to be more specifically Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, which I managed to give up on that game just because of that again, microtransactions they always managed to pull up with, and the same applies with, uh, you know, Dr. Mario World, as I mentioned earlier, and, uh, Especially noticeable, the most recent game of the bunch, which is, of course, Mario Kart Tour. And then, for I felt, you know, played all the cups, as I said before, I was actually quite disappointed. And it's also is one of the weakest entries in the series for me. Well, we'll see, at, at least I take, uh, um, Super Circuit any day, where it comes to the forms of the lower ratings, where it comes to some of, some of the Mario Kart installments. Uh, just because it has a lot more variety when it comes to uh, the track layouts and stuff like that, and uh, heck, you can you can able to actually like uh, pay, uh, play on the go without meaning to able to actually pay the ridiculous amount of money to able to actually just farm some more of those, uh, you know, some of these uh, characters and stuff like that, which uh, 
Still is a little bit redundant, but either way, that is one of pointing out. So, but anyways, now I think we're actually getting pretty close towards the end of this level, as you can see. But uh, yeah, for that particular new track they actually put up with in Mario Kart Tour, which at the moment right now it was actually by the forms of the New York uh, Tour, which is pretty fine for the uh, for when you first time playing for that specific course. But I will admit though right away is the fact that after replaying for that track multiple times, especially when I was trying to give myself this godforsaken grand stars in the actual currency for all that stuff, I'm just getting pretty sick of the forms of that uh, New York Minute uh, stage. Well, it's pretty cool at first, but what if I replay it multiple times just to get ourselves all the five grand stars on that specific run? Depends on what cups I'm in. Holy crap, I'm sick of the actual music, which either way, it always gets in my head every time whenever I manage to replay for that stage again, just because of that specific point. Whenever I was trying to get my, uh, the best run as possible, but sometimes, um, every time I was become second or lower, this means I need to able to replay that track over and over and over again, and then because I'm just getting sick of that track because I'm always seeing it every time I failed, to try and able to attempt to get ourselves the majority of those Grand Stars and nothing more because I'm tired of seeing the New York Minute and as a result of this kind of stuff though it, I'm just getting pretty sick of the music too it just goes like the actual like it's pretty fine at first but then it gets a little bit repetitive if you like keep on retrying that particular track you know because well if I want to 100% it well it might be pretty difficult to 100% Mario Kart Tour because of the microtrans actions and stuff like that, which still it becomes extremely luck based for attempt it will be. So as a result of this kind of stuff, though, you have to put up with those of uh, that specific stuff. But anyway, though, we got ourselves a new Yoshi, which we have the Hornet Yoshi. So that's pleasant enough as it goes by. And of course, we actually unlock the next level, as you can see right there, which I think this is going to take place in once again in the caverns. So, at least even then, that we can able to actually investigate that. So, obviously, that particular level is completed. So, let's move on now to uh, Volmos, the lava. Although, before we do that, let me just uh, equip this quickly. And then, um, hopefully, by that time, after this level's done, then we can able to end this off just for that point. So. So let's get this thing to it, with World 6-3, so yeah. Okay, if you could tell right there, this is my uh, jump cut for this point, because I just keep on dying a lot in this level, because as far as I'm aware, uh, the best recommendation for this level, as far as power badges goes, obviously the main, uh, you know, the main power badge you need to use is, of course, completely invulnerable to lava and stuff, which I totally forgot to equip that. So as a result of this kind of stuff though, you know with the actual stingy checkpoints as I mentioned earlier, ever since Juni forms of, uh, you know, level 5-6 for instance? Well, I accidentally managed to come across as that one checkpoint earlier ago, on my first run through of the stage. But then, turns out, if, if I somehow accidentally died on this level though, and this means I have to go through all that collectible stuff over and over and over again, and that was just like, I think this is pretty obvious, because the game starts to get a little bit more tougher and difficult as you progress, so... Especially if you really want to go after the remaining collectibles, as you can probably see at this, at, at, at this point in time. But either way, though, as far as I'm pointing out, so... Anyways, back into my uh, discussion about the forms of that one particular new track in Mario Kart Tour has been introduced. And that is, of course, the, uh, the New York Tour, or the New York Minute, as far as what the actual, uh... Uh, that particular track's uh, name as far as I'm aware because I'm just getting sick of hearing the actual tune as I said before because it goes like the uh a and stuff like that because I just I don't know that rhythm right there just always gets to me because every time I seriously got screwed over and all that stuff because I'm always seeing it but even then though for now on though I'm pretty much gonna be done with uh New York Minute as it goes by. Hopefully by the future time though, we might actually get ourselves a different track, like specifically one based off from, you know, Tokyo for once, and as well as from the Paris or something like that. But I think it's most notably because it's all the limited run through, because, well, as for this point, it's because of the, yet again, the microtransactions and stuff like that is best to make its debut and stuff. 
But, you know, at the end of the day, I just felt like the Mario Kart Tour game is pretty much the weakest entries. In this case, my least favorite games in the entire series right now. Uh, this is pretty obvious because of the microtransaction stupid system. But, you know, I might be biased, and I really, like, the only good thing about the game, though, for me, as I said before, is the actual, uh, the soundtrack, and, and some stuff like that, as well as the visuals do look a bit nice at points, but I will admit, though, some of these tracks do look a bit more outscaled, like, specifically those, uh, Toad Balloons from the likes of the Toad Circuit track on Mario Kart 7. It's pretty cool to see in the actual HD visuals and stuff like that. But I will say, it feels a little bit too plastic at points, especially compared to the forms of the see-through uh, visuals from the likes of Mario Kart 7 counterpart. Well, it's probably just me, because I'm pretty much used to that, so... But anywho though, um, yeah, because I don't think- I don't think the actual smartphones were able to work for that game. Specifically, if you want- uh, if you're trying to hold your, uh phone up in a horizontal position, or no, the vertical position I should say, but I would prefer whenever it goes like a horizontal position, because that way it does the actual driving uh, games work well on that specific method, like it works just fine in the, uh, well to be more specifically, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transforms, and eventually we might actually get ourselves uh, Sonic Racing, which for I've seen the actual footage on, uh, during the likes of any Apple, uh, arcade when it comes to Sonic Racing games that could come out, it's basically just Team Sonic Racing, but except the fact that with, uh, uh, coming onto the Apple devices or something, which, I don't know if I'm actually gonna get that, honestly, because, well, it's just that with the addition with the touchscreen controls, and this also means it's the fact that that particular game is just basically Team Sonic Racing, but except it's on the actual, likely on smartphones and stuff like that. But it does have the actual, uh, uh the team-up racing system. Which, either way, that maybe seems a little bit more redundant to me, though. But, I might give it a chance, though, so that I can able to actually give that game a, uh, a shot. But, either way, though, let's just not, not hope for higher expectations just yet. Because, you know, we're just a little bit too early to able to actually play that game for quite some time. But then again, I'm just a little bit biased when it comes to likely some parts like that, so... Anyway, so let's go ahead and, um, reveal the actual steps. So that way we can able to actually continue our progression, because, yeah, if you couldn't tell already, but if I managed to did this level on the first attempt of this recording session, I somehow forgot to able to actually just run straight up, or run straight to the left, and then grab the actual, uh, smiley flower when it gets to that. But then again, if you get crushed whatsoever, well, basically, you have to do the entire collective fun all over again, so... That would be not fun at all, if you manage to screw that up. But thankfully, we got a checkpoint at least, which, uh... You know, it's kind of like the same thing for how it does it on those, uh... Yeah, if you can tell already, because either way, though, because of, uh, level 5-6 can give me some hard times sometimes. But anyways, the, obviously the main goal for this level, as you can see, is the fact that we need to activate those two bridges, as you can see, so that way we can able to reach for this door over there. And then this final part right there, the lava starts rising, and as a result, if you incredibly be broken like I do right here, well, basically, that I can easily manage to bypass this without even getting touched by the, uh, or even didn't get killed by the lava at all, so... No idea why I'm just truly doing that, because, well, at this point, I just want to able to actually just get this Let's Play finished. And during, not so much in the next week, or something like that, but definitely when it gets to, like, getting closer to October, towards the end, then I'm surely we can able to actually finish this Let's Play in time. So, there we go. We managed to able to completely done with level 6-3. No bonus game, sadly, though, because, well, I just feel like it might actually drag out at points for that specific bonus game. And look at that, we actually gathered everything, so pretty cool. Unlike the, uh, 6-1 that I, uh, seem to able to actually get hit most of the time with all these, uh, those spider creature looking enemies. So, but apart from that, though, I'll do these two levels back to back. So that way I can able to do the health challenge on my own time. So, 960 stamp patches that we've already got. So, even then, we're actually getting pretty close when it comes to the Mephos patches department. So, we actually unlock ourselves the Lava Yoshi. Because, you know, makes it a little bit more of a heating fire and stuff. So, 
yeah, I guess we'll end things off at this point right there. So join me next time on Let's Play Yoshi's Woolly World. It's the fact that we might actually continue things on with World 6. By going through World 6-4, which appears to be the fourth level. And we might actually bump into Notch Wing for the final time. So see you guys then. Later.